Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com out walking Cecil on a Monday morning, September 22nd, 2014. And my thoughts are actually going to life after the Pipulate project and how I'm going to take what I'm doing with devices like the Raspberry Pi and transform it into a the technology component of my daughter's education and I was contacted by a, via email over my website by a gentleman named Andreas Olofsson who kickstarted a project a couple of years ago called the Parallela Adaptiva if I got it right and it's a project that could have been the Raspberry Pi but uh, the price point and the marketing and the uh, approach was well it's just not ready for prime time it's a little more expensive I think it's about hundred fifty dollars compared to the thirty five dollars of the Raspberry Pi and whereas the Raspberry Pi gives you the bare minimum to have a uh, modern uh, graphics uh, game capable uh, desktop like computer but really the bare minimum the Parallela gives you a multi-core supercomputer. And when I say multi-core, I'm not just talking about dual or quad. The entry-level version of this thing has 16 processors, and the slightly higher end version has 64. And I believe the company and the hardware people that this comes from do these, you know, uh, thousands of core uh, supercomputers. And it's a branch of computing that is significantly different than what we know today with the von Neumann and the Harvard architecture computers that basically have one CPU, some sort of bus, and everything gets funneled through it with sort of a bottleneck with little ability to break larger tasks up uh, along parallel threads uh, returning the results so there's an inherent bottleneck no matter how fast we make uh, contemporary computers we're gonna reach a uh, diminishing return uh, limit that uh, will not take us into the future it'll be very good for a competent uh, computer science uh, education and set of capabilities and bag of tricks you'll be able to do all kinds of uh, you know automation and you know software that sort of follows today's model but when it comes to the really fancy stuff like uh, image recognition and robots that can adaptively respond to their environment and uh, you know anything having to do with self-repair self-modification you're gonna reach some limits uh, computers can only do what you tell them to do and those sort of fuzzy uh, decisions that uh, humans and uh, animals are so good at uh, computers just aren't and massive multi-core is the eventual solution and I was really enamored by the uh, IBM response to the DARPA project for the synapse chip that has you know uh, I don't know it's like a million uh, little tiny uh, processors on it, which by the way is a much more power efficient approach because you don't uh, rally or marshal all this processing power into play until you need it. Uh, it's sort of this cascading effect where power consumption is incredibly low until that instant where you need all these processors working for you. And that's how Parallela kind of sells their product. It's a low power supercomputer, you know, it takes that same like five watt power footprint as uh, Raspberry Pi and other really, really tiny computers. But for that same wattage, you have a massively more powerful computer. Uh, the problem is programming the silly things. It's a significantly different uh, programming model than most, uh, you know, computing, most programming. Uh, particularly like me and Python, it's not designed to be multi-core. There's solutions to that in the works, but, you know, it's, it's, 
it's more complicated. Uh, you have to think differently. You have to throw out a lot of what you've learned. So I think I need to start thinking about this stuff sooner rather than later. So what I'll do is I'll take up Olaf on his offer, get my hands on one of these parallela boards, and maybe make the second installation of my uh, educational series on something that isn't already in millions of people's hands, like the Raspberry Pi, but is the next logical step in uh, an accelerated uh, technology, education, and growth path that prepares people for the future uh, a solid step beyond uh, what I guess I would call the core. You know, there's so much that people use core for, the core education, core Unix, and uh, you know, that's what you get with the Raspberry Pi, a solid comp sci uh, educational platform. But the next step, which I was thinking of as somewhat uh, inaccessible to the average person, because either you need to hook together lots of Raspberry Pis with a wiry mess, or you need fairly inaccessible uh, multi-core, and I'm not talking about the quad cores. You need like 16 or 64 uh, processing nodes to really, uh, you know, experience what parallel computing can be, and that is exactly what Olaf, uh, no, Andreas Olafsson. I think I got his name wrong. Sorry, Andreas. That's exactly what Andreas Olafsson uh, kickstarted uh, about two years ago, and it's been flying very, very, very below the radar, in great part because of people like me who are so fixated on the Raspberry Pi, Arduino, and the stuff that's that was first to market and at the lowest price point and best marketed. So that's my thoughts for this morning. Um, not sure where I'm exactly going to go with that. I have to envision the project uh, and, and figure out what I would even be programming with. It might not even be Python. So thanks for joining me and I uh, hope to talk to you again soon and don't forget to subscribe.